7, 2003, Turkey Bowl 2003, the South Kingstown Rebels will be taking on the North Kingstown Skippers. The game is being played at Meade Stadium at the picturesque University of Rhode Island. And the South Kingstown Rebel fans and players are just arriving on campus. This is a Division I contest. Both teams are relatively evenly matched. Temperature at game time will be approximately 50 degrees, no breeze blowing, and it's a beautiful fall day here in South Kingstown. Come into this contest three and four on the season, as do the North Kingstown Skippers, and as noted previously, both teams are relatively evenly matched. It should be a very good game. And the South Kingstown Rebels have officially arrived and are taking to the field here at Meade Stadium. The Rebels are coached by head coach Bruce Tata, his assistants, Bruce Fairbanks, Corey Drinkwater, Eric Anderson, and Tucker Bryany. Head coach for the North Kingstown Skippers is Keith Kenyon, his assistant coaches, Chris Branch, Dick Downey, Jeremy Ryan, Nick Malloy, Dave Pagnetti, Ken Woods, Mike Rogers, Mike Kelly and Ryan Zilli. Captains representing South Kingstown. At running back, number two, Tyler Foley. At quarterback, number nine, James Flaherty. At offensive line and D-line, Justin Raymond. At offensive line and defensive line, Joe Achino. And the Rebels are taking their ceremonious lap around Meade Stadium. Kickoff has tentatively been set for 10 a.m. The captains representing North Kingstown, number five at wide receiver, Jake Northup, number 22, at running back, Sock Hotteman. Number 51, at offensive lineman, Dan Dittman. And at number 60, Sean Hornoff, at offensive lineman. It is a wonderful day for a Thanksgiving Day football game. Sun is shining, clear. And the field condition is just excellent. Welcome to the main event. The seniors playing their last high school game for South Kingstown High School. Number seven, Nick Robinson. Number nine, James Jake Flaherty. Number 51, Tom Nigro. Number 52, Tom DePina. Number 57, Justin Raymond. Number 67, Joe Achino. And number 75, Stephen Smith. Kingstown Skippers have just arrived at Meade Stadium and will be taking the field shortly. As I indicated previously, kickoff has tentatively been set for 10 a.m. Turkey Day matchup between North Kingstown 
and South Kingstown. Kenyon, assisted by Chris Branch, Dick Downey, Jeremiah Ryan, Nick Malloy, Dave Paganetti, Ken Wood, Mike Rogers, Mike Kelly, and Ryan Zilli. The seniors for your South Kingstown Rebels. Number seven, Nicholas Robinson. Number nine, Jake Flaherty. Number 51, Thomas Nigro. Number 52, Thomas Depina. Number 57, Justin Raymond. Number 67, Joseph Achino. Number 75, Stephen Smith. The head coach for South. Mr. Bruce Tarta, assisted by Eric Anderson, Tucker Bryady, Corey Drinkwater, and Bruce Fairbanks. We would also like to acknowledge the senior cheerleaders for South Kingstown, Jen Jordan, Maddie Monroe, Christina Grasso, and Ashley Petrarca. Sock. Hardeman, Sean Hornoff, and Dan Dittman. The captains for South, Tyler Foley, Jake Flaherty, Justin Raymond, and Joe Achino. And the captains for today's game have just been announced. The coin toss is taking progress and kickoff is imminent. North Kingstown has won the towing course. They decline. North has won the coin toss and will defer. North will be at the south goal and south will be at the north goal. South will be receiving. special Thanksgiving. We would like to take a moment to honor America, our friends and family who are serving in the armed forces.
Rebels field the ball. It'll be first and ten south from their own 27 yard line. First and ten from the 27. Territory, first and ten, Rebels, a pickup of about 30 yards. Number nine, Polarity, from the skipper, 44-yard line. Handoff goes to Foley, picks up a couple. Clarity gets on the keeper, gets up to the 40 yard line. Jake Going to be third down and about a long five. By... Ball is seated at the 41 yard line. Tyler Foley with the carry. Foley picks up a couple. By ben Barber and Short ben of a Dittman. first down. It's going to be fourth down and about four. Down four, big play for the Rebels here. Going for the, uh, gonna go for it. Really on in this contest. Touchdown on a gutsy play from Foley, from Flaherty to Foley. Six points, Rebels, touchdown comes with nine minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the first quarter as the Rebels draw first blood here on Turkey Day. Collins to home. Andrew Fitzgerald the kick. Rebels will be going for the PAT and it looks like uh, Coach T might have called a timeout. Ladies timeout, and Rebels. We were to hold. It's up, and I believe it's good. Makes the score seven to zero in favor of the South Kingstown Rebels. Being in this contest, on this annual contest, three games to zero, the Skippers have never won. And therefore, the series is in the Rebels' favor. Again, three victories to zero. And it's a chip shot to about the 38-yard line where the skippers recover. It'll be first and 10 skippers from about their own 38. Pass goes incomplete. Second down is the QB for NK today. Up of about Tom Stralka with six the yards. Carry. It'll be third down, down by Jake and Flaherty. Forty and Robinson in on the stop for the Rebels on the 45 yard line of the Skippers as they come to the line. Almost picked. Pass goes intercepted. Pass goes incomplete. Be fourth down, and it looks like Coach Kenyon is singing on his kicking team. Oh. 
And the ball goes out somewhere around the 25-yard line. And the Rebels come out first and 10 from about the 29-yard line. Ryan Brophy picked up about Ryan four with the carry. for the Rebels with the ball resting on about the 34-yard line of the Rebels. Pass goes incomplete, intended for Foley. Is passed Third down. Jake Flaherty on the keeper. Dragged down Gets by brought Sock down, Carter almost and broke it. And but in any event, he was brought Carter. down. And it's fourth down now for the Rebels. And the Rebels will be kicking Nick Robinson doing the honors. Now there's a whistle on the play, stand by. A penalty is assessed against the Rebels, five yards, fourth start. Jake Northup back to receive. Nick Robinson. So Robinson punt. will be kicking from somewhere around the 18-yard line. Punt goes out to about the 45-yard line and returned about four yards. It'll be first and 10, NK, in Rebel territory. Little or no gain on that play. Might have picked up a yard. They're going to give him two, second and eight. Pass goes complete. And I believe it's enough for a... Mike Gleason. Well, I guess the pass was incomplete. Stand by. Flag. Flag. Stand by. North. North. It's going to cost them 10 yards, and it's going to back them up into their own territory at their own 41-yard line. Little or no gain on that play. Hardeman brought down by Tom Davina. And about 19. The skippers did pick up one. 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Side, A ball too far. Pass goes incomplete. And it's going to be fourth down. And surely the skippers will be kicking it away. And it looks like their punt team is taking the field. Back to receive. There you go. In the air, James. Fumble, oh. and the skippers recover deep in Rebel territory. It'll be first and ten, south at the 21-yard line of the Rebels. T.J. Nigro thrown for a loss of about two yards. It'll be second and 12 now. Pass goes incomplete. Pressured by Jake Flaherty. And Flaherty and putting the pressure on Willette. And I think it's going to be that way all day. Putting a lot of pressure, the Rebel D, on the skippers. Touchdown, skippers, 
Two pounds. Corongo. With four Rebels. minutes Super remaining touchdown. in the first quarter, makes the score seven to six. Rebels. The extra point is good, makes the score seven to seven. To tie the score at Skip is teeing up the ball. Foley and, and Graham, Graham back, back to receive. receive for the Rebels. Field the ball somewhere around the 25 yard line, push it up to about the 30, be first and 10 south. Begin their series of downs from the 32 yard line, first and 10. Again, on that play, it might have been thrown for a little bit of a loss. Ryan Brophy brought down thrown out for about Barber three. It'll be Dittman. second and 13. Seconds remaining in the first quarter. Nigro comes to the line. Gleason comes to the line, sorry. Pass goes incomplete. Third down. Larry's back. And the ball is picked. Skip is take over. Larry First and ten on the Rebel 30. Did by. by Joe Bissett from NK. It'll be first and ten. Skip is. Hardeman picks up about six, up maybe seven. Seven Davina. for Skippers. It's second down and a long three. So with the score seven to seven here at Mead Stadium in South Kingstown, Rhode Island, at the University of Rhode Island. Conference. Second quarter is about to begin. North North picks up about a yard. There maybe. is a flag on There's the play. There's a flag player. on the play. And it looks like it might be going against the skippers on a holding play. It's going to cost them 10 yards and we'll back them up. Hold out of field goal range for the time being. It's going to be second down and about 16. Second down and 14 to go. The Rebels get a little breathing room here. Hopefully the D can step up. Pass incomplete. Pass goes incomplete as Ouellette airs it out. He'll make it fourth down. And I believe the skippers will be forced to kick it away in the field. Hi, Mr. Foley. And it rolls into the end zone. Ball it will come out to the 20, first and 10, so. They at Mead Stadium. Appears to be about 2,000 people here at the stadium, which is filling up. So more fans coming in. The Rebels will be coming out first and 10 from their own 20. Tyler Foley on a carry. 
picks up 22, 23 yards. That was all Foley dragging several skippers upfield with them. First and 10, South resting on the Rebel 38 yard line. Brophy with the carry, tripped up Brophy by Taylor Mark. Gets to midfield. Picked up about eight yards, it's second and two. And the Rebels pick up a first down and then some as they penetrate into Skipper territory, first and 10 south at the Skipper 45 yard line. Ryan Brophy. Brophy on the carry again. But they might have picked up about three. Second and seven. Did penetrate into Skipper territory on that last play. And the ball is resting on the 43 yard line. Larry and the keeper runs it out of bounds Larry with the several with the flags in the field. Stand by. I think it's going to be a holding on the field. To the legal motion. The legal on motion the and shift assessed to the Rebels. Rebels five yards. The ball is still in skipper territory. It is still second down and about 13. Pass goes incomplete. It's going to be third down now for the Rebels in 13. As Flowery brings him to the line and gets him set. Pass goes incomplete. As intended for about Nick a, Robinson. Intended for Robinson about a step too, sh too long. They'll be fourth down, and I assume the Rebels will be kicking it away. Looking for South. Took a South roll. Jake Northup. And Robinson just about got that out of bounds hunt off. By the Justin skippers Raymond. feel the ball moving up about two yards. When he was hit by Justin Raymond, it'll be first and 10 skippers from about their own 29 yard line. The play goes up the gut. No, it doesn't. I lost the flow of the ball. Stralka with the carry. Lost the flow of the ball on that one. And the skippers look like they might have picked up out of the ball will be on the skip of 41 yard line. It is a first down for the for North. And the pass goes out of bounds. The end of second down. Seconds remaining in the first half. As the skippers come to the line, and Ouellette gets him set. A missed tackle enables the skippers to pick up a first down. A first down as they penetrate into Rebel territory. The ball is resting on the 48-yard line of South. Seven minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Pass goes complete. Pickup of about six yards. It'll be second down. Um, 
Dupina. Dupina in on the sack. Off was made, but Tom Dupina brought the running back down and threw him for a loss. It's third down. Come on, down complete. And the skippers pick up another first down. The ball is now resting on about the 25 yard line. Of about three, it'll be second and seven. One minute warning, four minute warning has just been given. There is four minutes remaining in the first half. By oh, gonna cost him five. Offside Rebels. Puts the ball at the 15 yard line. Pass is complete, down there to about the four. There is a flag on the play. If there's a flag on the play, it's going to go against the skippers, so it's coming back. Downfield, and therefore, that negates that completed pass. Downfield, second down. Um, but six to go. Goes complete down to the 15, to but just Lou. short of a first down. down by Nick Robinson. It'll be third down. Robinson in on the tackle from about the 14, with two minutes and 26 seconds remaining in the half. Rebels need to step up big on their defense at this point. And there's a whistle on the play. I think it's going to go against South, off, uh, North, offside. Offsides against the Rebels, and it's going to cost them five. And now we'll give them a, give North an automatic first down. It's in goal now for the skippers from the nine. Robinson chases him out of bounds and brings him down somewhere around the three-yard line. Soroka with the carry. One minute and 50 Brought seconds remaining in the first half. Oh, with one minute and 50 seconds remaining in the first half. Correction, NK takes a timeout. North Kingstown timeout. Goes unofficially, one minute and five seconds remaining in the first half. Put it in the end zone. Six points. Uh, touchdown comes with 59 with touchdown. seconds remaining in the first half. It's a score 13 to 7. NK. And the point after is blocked. The point after is blocked. No good. And that could be a big point. Brophy with the block. Brophy on the block. Keeps the score. North and Rebels will be receiving the ball. South Kingstown. <laughs> James Wass with the carry. Wass feels the ball Brought somewhere around the 30 yard line, pushes it up Ian to about the 39. Ouellette. It'll be first and ten Rebels from their own 39. 53 seconds remaining in the first half. I'd like to put it in the end zone before the half. Yeah. 
Flaherty on the keeper picks up about five. Flaherty with the keeper. It'll be second and five. Down by Play's broken up. Pass goes incomplete. Be third down. With 15 seconds remaining on the clock. And Coach Todd of takes a timeout. Time out. Out. And the Rebels got 15 seconds here to try to put in the end zone. I don't know if he got out of bounds, but he definitely picked up a first down. James Graham. And there's seven seconds remaining on the clock, and the down. Rebels pick up a first a down. The spot of the ball is going to be in skipper territory at the 49-yard line. And the Rebels have second, seven seconds to try to put in the end zone. Should run the clock. Larry to Foley. The pass goes complete. I don't know if we're going to get one more play. Or the captains for both teams are taking the field to open up the second half. And the second half will open up with North Kingstown receiving the ball. And the skippers feel the ball, do not push it up field. It'll be first and ten wow. skippers from their own 34 yard line. Willette shows pass, but ends up keeping it. Picked up about five, second and five. Jake Flaherty in on the tackle for the Rebels. It's going to be second and five now. And the ball is seated right at the 40-yard line. There's a ball on the play, and it looks like the Rebels may have recovered. Yes, they have. First and ten Rebels in skipper territory. Spot of the ball is going to be somewhere around the... 37, 38 yard line, Rebels. D. Smith might have recovered that, although I'm not 100% certain. But in any event, it's Rebel ball. Tyler Foley with the carry. Foley on the carry, picks Brought up about two. Foley picked up one, it's gonna be second and nine now. as the Rebels come to the line. Pass goes complete to Nick Robinson, who brings it down to about the three yard line. Nick Robinson, Larry to Robinson. Right on about the three yard line. It's first and goal, Rebels. <laughs> Bully might have picked up a yard and he stacked up. Play, second down. About two yards to go. Rebels got three shots to put it in the end zone. And there's a whistle, stand by, flag, five yards. Spot of the ball now is gonna be at the seven. Ball start, I got Still second down, second and goal from the seven.
Flaherty and the keeper. Looks like it gets down to about the four. Five yard line. So it's third and goal from the five. Ball is batted down. Fourth down. Already on keeper doesn't get it in. Gets down about the one yard line, and the skippers hold him off. It'll be first and ten skippers for about the one. Northup. Across the Rebels five, offside. Brings the ball out to about the six yard line. Gonna still be first down. Pass goes complete. Pass complete. It looks like it's Dan enough for a first down for the skippers. Down. This will whistle, stand by. Ball start Ball on start. the skippers. So it's going to be first, first and 15 down, from about 15 the nine. To go. Pass goes incomplete. Intended for Stroker. Incomplete. Makes it second down. for the Rebels. Holding against the Rebels brings the ball back to the 24-yard line. First and ten Rebels from their own 24. They get it out to the 30, pick up of about six. Ryan Brophy with the carry. Brophy on the carry. Down and five, picked up five yards. Second and five. as he penetrates into skipper territory. It's second down and about one. <laughs> right, oh, Tyler Foley. Picks up a chunky yardage, about 25 yards. Gets down to the 20-yard line. First and 10, Rebels at the red zone.
Tyler Foley with the, carry. the carry. Wrapped up picked by up about Ben a, Barber. Picked up about a yard. Second and nine. Larry, Larry runs out of bounds. Looks Forrest like he might have picked up about six or seven Ian yards. Ulek. I think it's going to be third down and one. See where the spot comes. It's going to be third down and about three. Ball is at the 13 yard line. Flags, whistles, stand by. Offside against North. First down it's going to cost him five. Go. And it makes it a first down and goal from about the eight. Third down and goal, not first down. From about the eight for the Rebels. They get the three yard line. It's third down. Seven seconds remaining in the third quarter. This is like, this is the biggest time of the game. Tyler Foley stopped. And the skipper's stopping. Fourth down, Barber. four. On downs, first and ten. And the skippers go up the gut, little or no gain. Second down. Pass goes incomplete. Makes it third down. Third quarter, that's the end of the third quarter with the score 21-7. That's Skeppers. the end of the third And the Skippers get it up to about 15-yard line. Time out. And the Skippers come out first and 10 from about their own 15. First and ten, Rebels. Jake Larry, the keeper, gets it out of bounds somewhere around the 25 yard line. Suck picked up four yards on that play. The ball is now seated at the 27 yard line. Second and a long five. Ryan Brophy. Brophy. Wrapped up by Joe Tierney. Little no games, third down. Ian Ule. Jake Flaherty on the keeper, runs it out of bounds somewhere around the five yard line. First and ten, Rebels. The spot shows that it ran out of bounds at about the eight yard line. It'll be first and goal from the skipper eight. Tyler 
fully wrapped up by Ball, no Ian Ouellette. It's up, I believe it's good. Nope, doink. Hit the goalpost, no good. 21-13. So, Kicking off. Nine minutes and five seconds remaining in the game. Ball goes out of bounds on an outside kick. It'll be uh, first and ten. Josh Gardner's kick. From about the skip of 40. It's at the skip of 39 yard line as they come out first and ten for this series of downs. Throw for a loss. Wrapped up. Second by down. Vincent. There is a flag on the play. Holding, Holding against, against NK. North. It's going to back him up even more. So it's going to be second, first down and 20. complete to the flat, but only picked up a couple of yards. It's going to be second down at about 18. He's over the line, and I think uh, that pass goes incomplete anyway. But uh, the skippers will be penalized as intended for a scrimmage, and therefore it's going to cost SK, uh, NK another five yards. It will cost the skippers a loss of down, so it is now third down and about 24 yards. is complete but only good for about and five yards it'll be fourth down now for the skippers and the uh, punting James team is coming Graham. on the field it's remaining in this game concentrate Jay. and the ball rolls out somewhere around the 22-yard line where the Rebels will begin their series of downs. Picked up maybe a yard, second down. Pass goes incomplete, intended for Robinson. It's still third, and for all practical purposes, ten. Okay. 
Nick Robinson, pass was intended for Robinson. Pass goes pass incomplete. For Nick Robinson. Makes it fourth down, and the Rebels will be kicking it away as they go three and out. Catch Back catch called in Rebel territory. It'll be first and ten skippers from about the Rebel 39 yard line. <laughs> Up the gut. Gets six more points on a quarterback sneak. Makes the score 27-13. NK it's remaining in this game. Right after is good. And the PAT is good, making it 28 13. NK. Brophy fields the ball, returns it up about six yards to about the 37 yard line. Be first and 10 Rebels from their own 37. Clarity is sacked down around the 25 yard line. It's going to be second down now and about 20. Pass goes incomplete, intended for uh, Nick Robinson. Pass goes incomplete. It's fourth down, and the Rebels will be kicking it away. Eight seconds unofficially remaining in this game. I believe the skippers have recovered. And the skippers ball first and ten from the Rebel 35 yard line. Skippers pick up a first down. At the conclusion of today's game, uh, I believe, yes, they did. First down. Going to be first and ten for the Skippers at the Rebel 29-yard line. With two minutes and 47 seconds remaining in this game. with the carry and the fumble is recovered. Looks like the fumble, South by fumbles Jake the ball. Flaherty. North fumbles, fumbles the ball, recovered by, by South Jake Flaherty. Smith. First and 10, Rebels. First and <laughs> Pass is complete. Foley. Tyler Foley. The pass goes incomplete. It'll be second down. Clarity on the keeper picks up a first down. 
Jake Flaherty brought gets down up to almost the 40 yard line of Tom the Rebels. Peralta. First and 10, south game, two minutes. And Flaherty gets up to midfield and close to another first down, Jake I believe Flaherty he did get it. First and 10, Rebels. Pass goes incomplete. There's a flag on the field, stand by. Go against the skippers. And whatever it was, I think it's 15 yards. Yes it is. 15 yard penalty. Pass interference. Pass interference. Moves the Rebels so 15 it's a yards closer. Rebel automatic first down, and the ball is now seated at the 35 yard line of the skippers. With one minute and five seconds remaining in the game. come out and take a knee for their series of downs. Looks like the final score is going to be 28 to 13 in favor of the North Kingstown Skippers. Coach Kenyon takes a timeout, Skippers. NK takes a knee, remaining in this contest. And stand by for the awards for most valuable offensive and defensive player from each team. And that's the game, and that's the game. As the North Kingstown Skippers prevail here on Thanksgiving Day at Deep Stadium at the University of Rhode Island. South Kingstown 13. SK still leads the interschool rivalry three games to one. At the 50 yard line, we will have the presentation of trophies as well as the announcements of the MVPs for both teams. South Kingstown MVPs for today's game. On offense, Tyler Foley. Tyler Foley, MVP for the offensive team of SK. The defensive MVP for South Kingstown, number nine, Jake Flaherty. And Jake Flaherty, number nine, is the defensive player at linebacker. The MVPs for North Kingstown. On offense, Tom Stroker. Tom Stroker on offense for the Skippers as the MVP. And the defensive, and defensive. MVP for North, Joe Bissett. And Joe Bissett, senior, Joe Bissett, number six. As the MVP on D. We would like to congratulate both teams for a well-played game, and congratulations to North Kingstown High School.
And that concludes the Thanksgiving Day festivities here at Mead Stadium on the beautiful and picturesque campus of the University of Rhode Island. Happy Thanksgiving and Turkey Bowl 2003.